Greetings and welcome to another edition of World Music Safari. In this episode, the Charango. So the charango is a small stringed instrument that hails from Central and South America. And it's a beautiful little instrument that's played more um, in ensembles, sort of as a rhythmic instrument. And you can see that it has 10 strings on there, set in courses of two. So it's played similar to the ukulele. In fact, I've tuned it that way. Um, but you can see that the 10 strings on here act more like a course of five strings. You can kind of see one, two, three, four, five. And it's played in a rhythmic fashion. Now, the cool thing about the charango is initially they are made out of armadillo shell. That's correct. They have armadillo shell on the back of it. And you can kind of see that on this instrument when you look at the back of it. It still retains that armadillo type shape. I have a friend that has one actually made out of armadillo, uh, but I wasn't able to get it for this particular video. But if I can find it at a later date, and get a hold of them. Maybe I'll do another charango video. But this one, a friend of mine purchased from me from Colombia. So this is a Colombian charango. I've tuned this one sort of like a ukulele with an extra string. My dog has fleas. So it's exactly like a ukulele. However, there's an extra string right here. So it's kind of like a mandolin ukulele it's got these extra strings in here but the really cool part about this is the one in the center isn't an octave it's not the same note so there's a low C and there's a high C now the others are tuned to themselves just like a mandolin and so I would play it like a five-stringed instrument, even though there's 10 strings on this instrument. So there's kind of a relative of the charango that's in Micronesia. It's actually a ukulele that also has eight strings. Now this one has 10, but if you were to take away these two strings right here, you would basically have that same ukulele. It goes by a different name as I recall, but it sounds very similar to this. But I just think it's cool that Half a World Away is an instrument that's almost exactly like this one. And that's no mistake, the Portuguese actually introduced the ukulele to Hawaii. Alright gang, well that's it for this episode of World Music Safari. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll get to them. In the meantime, we'll see you at the next episode.